Underground Crypto. This is the Underground Crypto back at it again. Oh my, oh my, oh my. The market is on fire. My goodness. Do you see Bitcoin? Up 15% in the last seven days. Ethereum up 5%. XRP. Everyone's not happy about this one. Is that 30 cents? It pulled back a little bit. Up 16, 17%. And where is the sleeping giant? Up 6%. At 0.85. I did see it at 0.86, 0.87. We are looking to get to that 9 cents. But one thing I want to show you here, right? The market cap is getting close to 500 billion. So when we do get close to the trillion mark, that's where we're going to see a lot of these price appreciations here. So we, we just, we're just getting started right now with this bull run. Just getting started. It's still, you still have time to load up those bags. Not a financial advisor for enter, entertainment purposes only. But the market is on fire. On fire. One thing, though, that we do need to look at, though, right? So the cryptocurrency market's on fire, right? But if we look at the futures market, right? I want to look at the futures market right now. And it's not really on fire, you know? COVID is still running rampant right now. So we can see some of these indexes around the world, right? And energy is mixed. You know, you have... Uh, cocoa cotton you know all these things we need lumber so that's green right the metals gold is taking a you know is going down and i'm gonna play something that's gold related also um in this segment right so gold silver platinum all going down which is strange i would think with all this happening right now, Bitcoin going up, I would assume gold would be going up as well, but that's not the case. Grains is going up. Currencies, it looks like the USD uh, went down a bit there. Uh, the JPY looks to be going up. But everything else, uh, either going down or sideways there. Right? So this is breaking news from Senate. Right. So the Senate blocks President Trump's controversial nominee to the Federal Reserve Board. And uh, this is the, the Honorable Judy Shelton. And she was big, you know, real big. There's a lot of YouTube videos of her coming in, helping the crypto, uh, the cryptocurrency market space, getting getting, you know, the regulation that we need, getting gold back standard getting cryptocurrency standard in place and it looks like she's blocked for now right so this is not really bullish news but let's check out this article here so judy shelton's nomination as a member of the federal reserve board is stalled so it doesn't look like she's been blocked just stalled the senate failed to advance president trump's Controversial pick to the powerful central bank on Tuesday after Republicans Mitt Romney of Utah and Susan Collins of Maine joined the Senate Democrats in blocking Shelton's appointment. Well, that's disappointing. The 47 to 50 vote also came as Senator Rick Scott and others were absent from the chamber and unable to vote. Right. So the reason why we are bullish on her as she's bullish on crypto right so let's see what else vice president elect Kamala Harris dealt another blow to Shelton who was campaign advisor to Trump in 2016 all right so it looks like um, there's some history with the new administration and uh, Judy Shelton as well so Shelton's confirmation was expected to be contentious among the GOP because of her unconventional economic views that place her well outside the mainstream. In the past, she questioned the mission of the central bank 
She also expressed support for the gold standard, which would tie the dollar to physical gold, a move would sharply limit the amount of money in circulation. This is what we need because there's too much money being printed, right? And that's, that's causing inflation. That's, that's going to ruin the economy. So maybe things will change for now, but right now, um, this nomination has been stalled, right? Um, and this is the video here. I'm going to play this video that's uh, pretty popular on YouTube that she's in. And, you, you know, we'll hear where she says the word cryptocurrency. So she, she's looking to be on our side, on the cryptocurrency side here. All right, so I'll play that. Would returning to gold standard help the U.S. economy? What, can you talk a little about your thoughts on that? Well, I would say um, I don't see it so much as returning, but uh, more of a back to the future. Okay. I think that um, what a gold standard stands for is is monetary discipline for its its own sake. That is, if money is supposed to be a unit of account and uh, a reliable measure and a dependable store of value, uh, it really shouldn't be subject to uh, who's the chairman of the Federal Reserve. And I think that, that money needs to be stable and provide the foundation for productive economic growth. And when money is just a variable that financial markets toss around or it's part of a derivatives formula or it's, it's part of uh, someone speculating on currencies, it's not serving the private sector in the sense of providing that reliable unit of account so you can make plans. And under a gold standard, you did have that stability, and I think that's what's missing. And so um, I like the idea of a gold standard. I mean, it could be used in a very um, cryptocurrency way. The point is, do you have a unified money system so that when you talk about the international marketplace, everyone is playing on a level monetary playing field? And, and it's very important to have a rules-based approach, and that's why I'm advocating um, that, that we need to look at the, the virtues of a gold standard and, and try to come up with something much closer to matching those, and then I think we would have more solid economic growth. All right, so we can see there. Moving back to a, and thanks to Crypto Camaro for that video there. Moving back to the gold standard in a very cryptocurrency way, and that's what we like to hear. All right, so that that's the show for today. Um, I am gonna release another show for day two of Meridian. Right, but that'll be a separate show. I don't want to make two uh, videos because it would be too long. But this is breaking news right here. President Trump's nominee, Judy Shelton, stalled for the moment. She's big on cryptocurrency. So we'll wait and see. All right, so uh, for, the, for the market, uh, do expect some pullback here. We've been climbing like crazy, like crazy. So there may be some pullback, but not to be worried. All right, so as a reminder, we are giving away 500 XLMs. Sign up by subscribing and liking the video, and you'll be entered in the 500 XLM giveaway. Also giving away a hardware, a Ledger Nano hardware wallet, right? So sign up for that. All right, so that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. Let's get it. We don't have that much competition. They would use Stellar to make their payments faster.